Let's do a very quick video of this. This is an HP um, cartridge from a plotter. It says B3P23E. I can't remember the exact plotter um, number. It has a warranty and expiration apparently. Warranty ends. And quickly turn it over. It's a 7 to 7 cartridge, black, 120 ml. Has a line down here, so I think it opens here. And before I open, let me make some predictions here. I think it's uh, just a bag with a spring on the side, spring on this side to basically press the um, the fluid and get it out. And then there seems to be something to prime here. It looks like it's pressable. Yeah, it is. So I suspect what will happen there. That will have a um, some sort of little plastic piston pump type thing. Press fluid into this and a spring in there. And then, of course chip again i suspect two of these will be power two will be data obviously we're not going to get information on that so let me pop it open quickly and see what's inside one very easy um actually there's nothing in here you just cut it this pops off um they said it's intended for single use and hidden below this here is this refill so that's a refill as you can see, if you line it all up, basically this goes there and the refill is hidden from view. Maybe it could be drilled out, maybe it could just be popped open extremely easily. Um, I was wrong about the stainless steel spring. Apparently there is no spring. It just drains. Interesting. So I still have to open this piece and that here um, will just be a clipped on piece, I think. Nothing much, just something that allows you to access the fluid. So I'll still open this and have a look inside. Beyond that, I'll try not to make a complete mess of it. But it's extremely easy to open. And I'm thinking refillable. But that said, with this chip, yeah, it's probably going to reach the point where it, you know, it detects it. And it writes it that there's no fluid. And you probably won't be able to undo that. Started late. The sun has gone down, so I have to change locations. Um, so I've stripped this all out completely. As predicted, there was that spring. This is the cover, the clip that was holding, the rubber piece. The rubber piece is for priming. Spring fits in into this little lip there, that little notch. Spring goes in there, spring goes into the next notch. What they've done, if you look on this side, is they've had a tube coming in here, going to here and joining here. So the main bag flows in into the same space where you can fill with depressing this and also it's the same rubber that comes up and brings the fluid into this cavity here when you press this thing right which would have been on top and you press that the spring would keep thinking it you would prime this piece here and get the fluid to come through down through here across here and up into this for the fluid to come out it came out through this this is actually like a one of those medical files they've just crimped on the end and it really is just a rubber that is actually Penetrated with a, a tube, something like a syringe, essentially. Stainless steel tube, I would assume. I haven't looked into the printer, but yes, most likely it's a stainless steel tube. Comes in here and gets the fluid through this. So it's not a complex design. Um, I guess that makes sense. Huh? 